Wolfenstein Youngblood is the follow-up to Wolfenstein 2 that looks to build upon everything that's made the series popular. It's being made not only by Machine Games, creators of the last two installments, but is also co-developed by Arcane Studios, best known for the Dishonored series. The addition of the new studio hopes to bring some fresh new elements to the Wolfenstein world, and here today in this video, I want to talk to you about some of that stuff. I'd like to go over the nine things that I think you need to know about Wolfenstein Youngblood. This game has really caught my eye, it's something I'm looking forward to. I kind of I want to start focusing my content on stuff that I'm interested and excited about and not just bitching about the latest news in the gaming world. So let's go ahead and jump into the nine things you need to know about Wolfenstein Youngblood. But before that, I gotta pay the bills. So we got a sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, a tactical turn-based RPG for mobile devices where you collect champions, build a team, and fight through rounds of enemies in turn-based combat. There's over 400 champions to collect and customize. Personally, Personally, I like this guy because he's got the spiky things here. And there's a little bit of something for everyone between collecting characters, a deep storyline, strategic gameplay, PvE boss fights, and PvP arenas. Plus, the game looks pretty good, so that doesn't hurt as well. Now, this is a free-to-play game and actually has really good reviews so far and over 10 million players worldwide. There was recently a brand new update with a loyalty rewards program for new players giving special daily login bonuses. And if you check out the link in the description below, you'll get a free 50,000 silver and an epic champion. Thanks guys so much for watching through the sponsor. Always appreciate it. Let's get into the nine things you need to know about Wolfenstein Youngblood. First up, we'll go over the story. This follows the events of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, but it's not the next mainline game. This is not Wolfenstein 3. It's more of a side tale. Set in 1980, 19 years after the last game, the protagonist BJ has gone missing and we're going to play as one of his two daughters, Jess and Soph, who have followed his trail to the heart of Nazi-controlled Paris on a rescue mission to save their father. This is going to be the first modern co-op Wolfenstein adventure, and that brings us right into the second thing that you need to know, and that is this game is built for co-op. So they've got things like syncing up skills and attacks and combat that's going to earn you bonuses like additional damage and life refills. There will be puzzles and crates and hidden areas that are only accessible by working together. They even have a hand signal system known as peps that you can give a boost of health and armor to you and your sister. It's got drop and drop out co-op that also features level scaling, instant loot, and even allows people to play on different difficulty settings in the same game. Now if you don't have a lot of friends that you play with or you don't want to deal with any sort of matchmaking, there is an AI companion which from what we've heard seems like it's going to be fairly competent. I would assume the best way would be to play with a friend. I imagine that's how you're going to have the most fun with this, but evidently if you don't want to play with a random person, the AI companion is not going to be a bad option. The next thing you need to know is about the life system. They, there's a total life total for each of the rounds that you go through, and this is shared between you and your sister. So what's going to happen is if someone's life hits zero, they're going to fall down and start to bleed out. Now, if you reach them in time to revive them, no problem. But if you miss, you will use up one of your shared lives. And if you run out of those lives, you'll have to restart the mission. Now, it's worth noting that they said that there are going to be ways to unlock new new lives mid-mission, I think you can like find additional lives in some of those secret hidden areas or crates and stuff like that. Now this live system might be a little annoying if you're playing with someone that you don't know or I don't know how good the AI companion is going to be at not dying. The next thing that you need to know is this game's got a heavy emphasis on RPG mechanics. So as you start the game, you're going to pick one of the two twins with a specific loadout that gives you an ability, a weapon, and an upgrade. And then as you progress through the game, you can unlock more stuff over over time. The game is going to feature level-based progression. You'll be earning XP by killing enemies and doing stuff in your missions, and as you level up, you'll get access to new skills and a skill tree and perks that focus on either stealth or run-and-gun playstyle. They even featured something what is known as a cloak skill for one of your exosuits, letting you sneak up and, well, kill enemies from stealth. There's also going to be weapon upgrades that you purchase with some currency found in game and enemies will be leveling up as you level up and in fact even morphing into different more challenging variations of the base enemy types. Another clear RPG system in this game is the health bars above enemy heads which is going to be new to the Wolfenstein series but it's following along the lines of them making this game more focused on these RPG mechanics. The next thing you need to know is about the world 
the entire game is set and will take place in Paris. You're going to start off with a few introductory missions, and then you eventually make your way into the catacombs. This acts as a player hub, giving you access to the rest of the world. This is also where the game really starts to open up. You'll be unlocking Metro Links to gain access to new areas and challenges. The next thing you need to know is that this game is much more open than previous Wolfenstein titles. Prior Wolfenstein games were very corridor shooter, straightforward games moving from point A to B. This game is going to feature non-linear progression. So once you reach the catacombs, that player hub that we talked about, you're actually free to do missions in whatever order that you want. On top of that, the individual levels are also more open and have more vertical space, allowing you to get multiple ways to complete the various missions. You're going to have these Paris district maps as well, which will be these big explorable areas where you can discover side missions and activities and collect resources and level up. The next thing you need to know is about the game's length. Apparently, the campaign length is going to be shorter than prior games, but the overall gameplay time is going to be much, much longer due to all the side missions, the exploration, and the RPG systems. Previous Wolfenstein titles would average between 10 and 15 hours. This one, with the branching system and the level progression, doing all the side missions and playing through all the content, is set to take roughly 25 to 30 hours. And that brings us into the next thing, which is New Game Plus. I didn't see any specific mentions of something like this, but they did say that once you beat the campaign, there's going to be plenty more to do and that they're going to be adding additional side missions and new challenges to complete even once you finish that main story. I'm assuming they also have plans to add additional content post release as time goes on, although I did a brief search and couldn't find any specifics about that. I'm certain it's going to happen. It happens with every game. And the last thing I want to talk about that I think you need to know is the microtransactions. Yes, they are going to be there. They have promised, though, that it's only going to be for cosmetics. Now, a lot of people will still be upset with that idea, but uh, something worth noting is that this isn't a full-priced $60 game. The base price of Wolfenstein Youngblood is actually only $40. So that makes it a little less upsetting that they're going to be cosmetic microtransactions, because at least I'm not paying a full $60 to start. Also worth noting, this game has a buddy pass system. This is really cool. You can play with your friends for free. So as we talked about, it's a co-op game. Only one person needs to buy it. If I buy the game and I want to play with one of you guys, you get to play for free. All I got to do is invite you. And at any given time, I could play with you. And then when you leave, I could invite someone else to play for free. And you could keep doing that as many times as you want. I think that's a really smart idea, especially given that this game is built with co-op in mind. If the AI ends up sucking really bad, people are going to want to play with their friends, but they might not be able to convince their friends to buy it. You don't have to. Your friends get to play for free. So that's basically it. Those are the nine things that I think you need to know about Wolfenstein Youngblood. I'm trying to just spend my time and energy with these videos that I'm making. Just doing stuff that I'm interested and excited about and looking forward to. I'm still going to do some of the news things where I talk about like trending and current topics. I'm really tired of focusing on all the shit that like we as gamers are upset about and hate. And you know what? There's plenty of YouTube channels who do nothing but that. So you guys won't be lacking. I I'm still going to talk about things that I think are worth talking about certainly but I don't want to focus all of my content and all of my energy on what's the latest thing that everybody's mad about today. I just really don't want to do that. So this is a game that I think looks interesting. It's a game that I wanted to talk about. Figured this video would be something you guys might like. So I hope you did. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. We got more content planned coming up. And yeah, have a good one. I'll see you later. I didn't actually, I'm not actually leaving because now I got to edit the video. So uh, here I am.